may profits be upon you. Just want to finish what I was talking about in regards to the US dollar JPY. I want you to see that when price takes out these swing lows, I believe it will trigger a pullback to these lows where we had to break out. All right. And I look for areas that are aligned with fair value gaps where price can find resistance and then continue the bearish trend. So that's what I'm looking for. I'm bullish to that fair value gap, but bearish overall. You understand? All right. Uh, if you have any questions about the uh, yen and how to trade it this week, or, or my presentation, just leave a question in the uh, comment section or leave a comment. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll respond to everybody that uh, that uh, asks me anything or, or leaves a comment. Okay. Now we're going to look at oil, U.S. oil. All right. Crude oil. Look at this. We're looking at the daily. And I want you to notice how this trend line. Now, I don't see trend line like uh, retail traders see it. I see trend line as a uh, a clear line where price, that's not a straight line, all right, uh, where price, uh, where traders have taken longs and left their stop losses here, all right? And they took those longs. And what market makers do is, what they know they do is bring price back so they can take them out of their trades, all right? <laughs> this is this is the bullseye. This whole line is the bullseye for retail for retail trading methods, right? Because they know people are taking longs off of these lines. They're waiting right here. And what price will do, what, the, what they'll do is they'll go past it a good enough ways and take that liquidity, all right? At some point, all of these lows are going to get taken, all right? This is low resistance here. Low resistance is a low, low, low resistance liquidity run. But uh, uh it doesn't have to happen all at once. All right, but we're going to see what price does when it gets here because it is aligned with a bullish fair value gap. So I have an interesting situation here. What happens is this trading range, I have the Fibonacci on, and as you can see, we're right at the area of an OTE, 705, 786. Price is right there. All right. And this is the area that price usually finds some support and and pushes upward. All right. This could trigger the uh, pullback because uh, that pullback is, is, I mean, that that area is right ripe for a pullback. And we have in that area as well in the area of fair value, don't we? So I'm looking at price coming back to this area uh, after sweeping that market structure shift here, sweeping that low, that swing low, all right, and coming back to test it. That's what I'm, that's what I'm looking at, coming back to test that area of fair value and uh, continue bearishly beyond that we'll see how uh, price reacts to this because this is a pretty strong low why is it strong because it created a new high it broke those highs over there so uh when price comes to test it i'm looking to see if we get some uh, get a, a, a good reaction from it all right so i am bullish to the fair value gap now, we don't have a fair value gap, a bearish fair value gap uh, form just yet because we're waiting for Monday and Tuesday to see how the candle closes to see if we get this fair value gap. We're, I'm pretty sure we're going to get one. Now, in the case that we don't, that, that price form, uh, forms a candle that wicks all the way up to the bottom of this candle, all right, that means we have no bearish fair value gap that's going to be a very bullish indication to me all right and i'll be looking for a price to pull back 
and I will look in this area, in this in this candle, to see if we get bullish fair value gaps formed. Okay, because then I'm going to definitely look for uh, that supporting structure for the uh, for uh, higher prices, right? And I'll be looking for buys. So what, Monday and Tuesday is going to be very important. All right, uh, will price reject from this area of fair value. All right, we shall see. All right, now we have a similar situation with UK oil, UK oil. All right, the first, first thing I want you to notice that we have uh, SMT here, smart money technique. All right, we have a divergence here. It never took the high when US oil did take that high. All right, did sweep that liquidity. This is just running a little weaker. This is this is never going to be the leader, though. It's never it doesn't lead normally. All right, it's just uh, it follows uh, 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 U.S. oil. Okay, you see how? What is that? Why did that pop up? All right, this this bullish fair value gap here. We still have that same trend line liquidity there, right? And we still have a bullish fair value gap. We still have this swing low here. We still have uh an area of fair value but we do have an smt there all right price could very well do what i'm expecting uh come up to area of fair value and continue lower from there but there is potential as you see i have the uh fibonacci retracement tool here all right and we are well we have closed below that 786 uh, Fibonacci level, right? We are testing the low here. All right. If we take this low, if we take this low, that'll be significantly different than uh, the U.S. oil chart. All right. And I, I will definitely be looking for price to uh, pull back, pull back to this area again and then continue lower. This is a weaker market, as you can see by the structure. So, and we are already past that trend line liquidity. You understand? There's a good, there's, this one has enough reason to turn around from here. It doesn't have to take that low. It's already taking a, an external, uh, external liquidity. We tapped into the internal liquidity here right where are we going from here price will pr likely or likely uh form a bearish fair value gap here but we're going to find out on monday if it comes all the way up to the bottom of this candle then there's no bear a bullish uh, bearish fair value gaps which would be a bullish indication but uh I, we'll see how that works out i think we're going to have a bearish fair value gap here and i'll be looking for price to hit that bearish fair value gap and then continue lower past this low and we'll see what it does from there you understand we're going to take this slow and we're going to make our money grow hey that's it that's it for my watch list i hope you enjoyed the videos sorry about the interruption on the, on the, the previous one i hope i made up for it with giving you some thorough uh analysis for oil and completing the uh us dollar jpy uh J japanese yen uh analysis all right may profits be upon you i'll see you in the next video and thank you for watching